Let's get this over with. You all right, folks? I need to find the office. You crazy? The whole area's been totally overrun by bloodthirsty freaks. The National Guard's fighting back, but there's too many of those monsters. If they don't get some help soon, we're all goddamn doomed. Let's go. Taking it. More money. Per your instructions, I have assessed the value of these assets, and I can assure you that the Kingston oil fields are still pumping and extremely profitable, if properly managed. They can bring in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars per year.
Thank you, stranger. We thought we were goners. Is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, you can point me towards the oil company office. Oh, it's on the other side of the lake. Though you're gonna have to drain it to get over there. Release all counterweights and you'll open the sluice gates. Let's drain this sucker. Good. We need to get to that other one now. Thank you for letting us out, sir. I hope you make it, sir. You sure it's safe for us to leave now? Taking it. What do you know? It worked. Water's going down.
ね For a second there, I thought you were one of those demons. The National Guard barricaded us inside here before they headed off to protect the company office. If you want to find the man in charge, you need to use that crane to move those crates. More money. Taking it. Thanks for letting us out. The office. Where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Now, unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower, but that'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the pipes. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. Cross, we thought we were done for. So glad you made it, sir. God bless you, sir. I can go see my friend. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle.
Yes! Okay! Ah! <laughs>
It's about time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government you hate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait. What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. Turning the tides, my ass. More like lying in your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk... <laughs> Go ahead, Regium, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. You want something done right, you got... Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. But how did you manage to see his longevity? I'm surprised... Virgil and I were just having the most invigorating discussion. I was telling Director Rentier about my ideas for upgrading the gauntlet. Huh. I must say it's refreshing to see young blood like Mr. Olney's coursing through Calico. We'll need his vital spirit if we're to rebuild the Institute's power and vigor. Well done, son. I think we may have given him a few too many vaults. I'm glad to see you're in good shape, but uh, we've got a situation. In order to keep your condition quiet, Amelia told Harrow you died. He's pulled rank and is sending us out on money grubbing errands while Felicity's building her army. Harrow's head knows what's right, but his heart is tainted by lust for power and money. Uh, it's gonna get worse now that he got promoted. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war on the subject of moving. You know what? Maybe let's wait for the dog to give the all clear before we start unbinding anyone. Oh, Edgar. Harrow's not an idiot. Without the Institute, this country would turn into a blood feast. Now, you tell me, son. What's more important? His approval or ending this war before it started? What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Death. Horrible monsters appearing out of nowhere. Fire, smoke, everything. And box cars. Scores of them. Filled with blood. That's how she's transporting the leeches now? By train? That's not good, sirs. Dickinson is a major cattle railway hub. 
The trains run in all directions. If there's an outbreak, we won't be able to contain it. Jesus Christ, what happened here?